Hello, Leo. Hope you all are doing well. This is a general reading for you. Messages of light and love come forward here for Leo spirit. What do they need to know for their highest good and for the highest good of all? We're going to start with this Hidden Truth Oracle, and then we will jump into the tarot. So your weekly reading will post at the same time every week. For you, Leo, it's on Wednesday mornings at 10 a.m. Mountain Time in the U.S. here. So mark your calendars for this weekly reading. And then I'll try to do bonus readings um, at different times, depending on my availability. All right, let's jump right in. Wow, we have two right off the bat. I look for you everywhere. I am becoming a better person. Yes. One more here for Leo. Being in separation from this individual is helping them to grow. Being in alignment with them or together with them, um, yeah, it, it's fun and it's wonderful and it's great, but for them to actually evolve and change and work on themselves, they have to be alone. I love you. Wow. All right, guys, let's get some tarot messages. They definitely miss you here, Leo. I think you've given this person multiple chances. You've been through multiple cycles with them. Let's see where they're at at this time. We have a five of wands in the recent past. We have the justice card, Libra energy here. This person is receiving their karma. We have the Hierophant card here, Taurus energy, bottom of the deck. We have a Three of Wands, King of Wands, Page of Wands. Wow, lots of fire energy here. And look at that. We have a Six of Wands as well. This person might have like a part, like they like to party a lot or they like to distract themselves by going out a lot. This person is very attractive. They're smooth. <laughs> You're dealing here with someone who gets a lot of attention. They can't sit still either. That's another message I'm picking up. They can't sit still. They want attention, but yet they're needing to go and sit down for a minute, meditate. They're needing to heal in some way. This person creates their own drama, Five of Wands. You may have um, experienced some of their drama here in the recent past, Five of Wands. I think you may have been trying to get through, the, through to this person, telling them some things that they need to hear, but they're not listening. They haven't been listening. You're trying to tell them, look, here's how things are. Here's what I see in you that needs to be looked at. I feel like they do, some of them, they are going to seek therapy or counseling at this time. The Hierophant card here. They're trying to resolve out some of their past trauma. They're trying to work on themselves in some way. Finally, after all of this time, I think a lot of them may have even been blaming you for some of their issues. But as you go into separation, they find out for themselves that maybe they are the issue that they need to work on. Hello, self-awareness is the name of the game with this person right now. Why is this five of wands here? Just a lot of drama around them. People around them are creating drama for them as well. Knight of Swords. This is a very rush in and out kind of an energy. They may come towards you, rushing in, afraid to lose you, and then just as quickly they leave, right? Feel free to comment below if this is the situation with your person here. We have an Eight of Wands and a Two of Swords. They're constantly in this back and forth, up and down, trying to make decisions about what they want. They aren't able to give you everything that you want here, Leo, because they can't make a decision to save their life. <laughs> and this is in regards to everything in their life. Um, they're always at a crossroads, always at a... I, I just feel this person's very uncomfortable. They're constantly communicating with other people as well. They may be on their phone trying to talk to other people all the time. They're trying to feed off of other people's energy without really creating their own universe for themselves. 
they're reaching outside of themselves for happiness and contentment without looking within, without looking at why they behave the way they do. They're, they're starting to gain some self-awareness here. Absolutely. They're starting to kind of go, what is my deal? Why have I not been able to settle down? Why have I been living this entire lifestyle of why is everyone else settled down, but I'm not? What is it about my situation that has brought me to this place of like, why am I not able to get things together? Why, why am I not stable? I just feel like they irritate a lot of people. They make promises that they don't deliver on. They don't show up when they make plans with people. It's like they shouldn't be making plans with anyone because they can't decide what they want to do. Constantly running around. Why is this justice guard here? This person's receiving their karma at this time. And it's not to put them in. It's not the reasons for it are to help them to grow. Okay, They're having a difficult time right now the seven of swords because they lie a lot they make promises they can't deliver on they can't they can't seem to be truthful because they're afraid of disappointing people all the time they're afraid of what people think about them all the time they're they're scattered disjointed we have an ace of cups so they may come towards you again here leo wanting to set up a new foundation with you but there's a third party here, Three of Pentacles, Ace of Cups. They may have been distracted for a little while because they just met someone new. So I do feel like what happens is they come into contact with you. They feel better about themselves because you guys may be soulmates here. They feel comfortable. They feel happy again. They finally feel free and, and like things are going well for them. And then they use that energy to, they can't help themselves, meet other people, talk to other people. And then they end up having to lie to you about where they're at, what they're doing, who they're talking to, etc. This person can't help themselves. They can't say no to third parties. They can't say no to anything. <laughs> um, it's impossible for them to want to settle down. Okay, so I'm being drawn to this W on this cup here, this Ace of Cups here. So this person that you're dealing with, their first name, or they may have an initial with a, with a W in it. I can't get my words out fast enough. I think that this person is receiving their karma for having lied about something at work, even for some of them. Whoever this new passionate love is that they're having right now, this could be a third party. Whoever this is, is going to see them for who they are, and it's going to crash and burn. And that's what this karma is all about here as well. Something about, something about this situation that they're in right now falls apart. It's very brief. Just like everything in their life is very brief. It's hard, it's hard for me to say. I just feel kind of sorry for this person because they do have a lot of childhood trauma that they haven't resolved out yet. It seems to be the kind of the theme of this week is everyone kind of facing their childhood trauma and like, what is the deal? What is the deal with this person? And maybe what is the deal with you, Leo, that you keep attracting them? And I'm not trying to call you out. I'm just trying to say that there's something about your the way that you have um some kind of childhood trauma that is attracting someone who is emotionally unavailable perhaps you had some childhood abandonment going on that you're needing to face as well so while we're looking outward at everyone else we're starting to look within this person is as well as you start to look within they are as well that's how this kind of works so why is this hierophant card here Wow, Ace of Pentacles. I feel like this is a gift from the universe. As you start to work on yourself here with the Hierophant card, I think that both of you are marrying each other because they are going to try and work on themselves too. Like if they have alcohol problems, they're going to start going to AA. Or if they, or if you have, you know, like I mentioned before, childhood abandonment situations that you're starting to take a deeper look at, you're going to want to start reading about it and what can you do to heal. There's something about reaching outside of yourself here to figure out what is going on. Why does this keep repeating? Why does this keep happening? Why do I keep attracting these same kind of unavailable people? Emotionally unavailable 
this one particular person perhaps, but in general, you may have had a history of unavailable uh, relationships where they're just not putting a lot of effort into your connection. That's who you're attracting. And the reason for that is because you're attracting what you need to heal from. That's the long and short of it. If you want to get down and <laughs> down and honest with yourself, that's what's happening here. Tell me more about this hierophant. This is where the gold nugget is. Once you start to heal from this past trauma here, you get a rewarded here. Something here has kept you hung up as well. Kept you from your path with the hanged man. I'm taking a deeper look at that. Why am I stuck? Why am I not able to bring in this abundance with a relationship that I deserve? You have so much love to give here, Leo, and you're wondering why... Why is it that the universe is not bringing you someone to, to connect with, to have a partnership with? There's always uneven give and take in these relationships that you've been in because you've put more into it than they have. I keep seeing this scale with the justice card here and this hanged man or the six of pentacles. The scale is here. Something here is always out of balance where you're giving too much. So you're going to start to look at what do I need to do to not give so much of myself, grounding back into yourself, centering in yourself here so that you're not giving too much to someone for them to turn around and just leave you behind. That's what happens is you, you're left devastated because you've given so much thinking that, that when you give that you're going to expect the same amount back, but it never happens, does it? And this is for most of you. It's not going to resonate with every single person here. But that's what the cards are showing me. Unavailable people in your life. King of Wands here. Page of Wands. Three of Wands. Six of Wands. All of this Wands energy at the bottom of the deck. There's a lot of fire. There's a lot of passion between the two of you. When you do come back together, there's a lot of passionate um, romance here. This person is fun. You love to hang out with them because they're fun. They have a great personality. They want to have fun with you. You guys laugh. You like to do the same things. Like everything about this person, it feels like a perfect match to you. But suddenly you're coming into your power here, Six of Wands. This is really beautiful energy where you're finally starting to realize what is it about this situation that I need to change? Something needs to change here. You can't keep expecting a different result when the thing, same thing keeps happening over and over again. Knight of Wands. As you start to change, this person wants to come towards you. Knight of Cups. Six of Swords. They don't understand this relationship whatsoever. Temperance card is here. You've tried to have patience with them. Temperance card. Try to have patience with this person, but they are not able to. They, they end up exhausting you, aggravating you as they come forward just as quickly as they come forward here with the Knight of Cups wanting to pursue a relationship with you. Six of Swords, they want to leave again. This person's distant from you. As soon as they feel like they have it in the bag with you, they start to become distant. They start to pull away. Emotionally, they're disengaged. They are looking elsewhere. They just want to seal a deal with you and then they get comfortable and they look elsewhere. Temperance card. Really losing your patience though with this person. Wanting to step into your power to do something differently here. This is the key to this relationship. This is, this is really what you're coming down to. Like that you're trying to understand why the universe keeps bringing this person around. And you're finally starting to get it. What they're trying to teach you. What you're trying to learn from this situation here. It's who you're attracting and what you need to do to change that. This person feels your energy pulling away. They feel that you're over it. They feel that they're you they feel that you are done with them and that you are moving on, and that makes them panic. <laughs> Interesting reading for you all. Thank you so much for watching. Please hit the like button for me, and I'll see you in the next one. Take care.